What's happening, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's talk about Fedor Emelianenko versus Mike Tyson in an exhibition boxing match. Yep, you heard that correctly. Fedor apparently wants a boxing match with Iron Mike, considers him a legend, and it would be an honor to face him. Stranger things have happened in the past. We've had some crazier matchups in the past. Who knows? This one may take place. From what I'm reading, Fedor would like to fight on the same card as Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou. I think that's a good slot for this matchup, but I'm going to drop some honest opinions on this boxing match. Now, first, let me say that obviously this is a mixed martial arts channel, but I cover combat sports in general. Mixed martial arts is where my heart is at. That's my passion sport. And I've been following the sport since the mid 90s, maybe even before that. We're talking about boss rooting and pancreation days. Pride FC, that whole era, Shudo, et cetera, et cetera. So you can imagine I've been following Fedor's career since pretty much the start. Massive fan of The Last Emperor. I think he's one of the greatest to ever do it. He's the GOAT in some people's eyes. Some days I look at him and I think about his career and I'm like, yeah, that's the GOAT. Other times it's a strong case for John Jones, George St. Pierre. He's in those talks. Mike Tyson, also one of the greatest of all time in boxing. That guy at his best and in his prime. I mean, what a specimen. I still believe, even with Deontay Wilder in the picture, other heavy hitters, heavy punchers, I still think Mike Tyson is the most devastating, hardest hitting puncher in boxing history. That's just my opinion. He was a combination of skill, speed, explosiveness, tenacity, aggression, just an absolute freak of nature, an anomaly in boxing. Now, both of these men are out of their prime. If Fader were to compete against Mike Tyson in his realm in boxing, of course, Iron Mike has the advantage. And anything can happen in a fight, anything can happen in a boxing match, something can land. Does Fader still have power? Yes. If he connects on Mike's chin, could he put him out? Of course. Who do I think has a better, more durable chin at this point? I'm going to say Mike Tyson. I mean, I've never seen Mike Tyson's chin crack. Even when he was slowing down, when he lost those uh, lopsided fights towards the end of his career, I mean... Let's say the Lennox Lewis fight, for example, he took a beating. It took a lot for Iron Mike to get out of there. And I just think the man has a granite chin. So present day being older, I believe Mike Tyson would be more durable and have a better chin than Fedor at this point. Prime for prime, peak for peak, I still say Iron Mike has a better chin. But Fedor had a better chin back then. He had more recovery. Today, not so much. So if these guys were to compete in a boxing ring... Barring Fader landing some overhand right casting punch, his signature punch, which you would transition to takedowns with, but you're not going to have takedowns in a boxing match. Barring him landing a haymaker like that, man, I see Mike piecing him up. But is that a loss of Fader? I mean, he's competing against one of the best ever to do it in their realm, Mike Tyson. It's an honor for him to compete against Mike in his world. I'm sure the payday would be freaking awesome. So if Fedor, you know, gets this boxing match, I mean, I'm sure he's going to want to go in there and win. I'm sure he believes he could win. But if he loses, does he really lose? I mean, he'll lose some brain cells. That's important. Would I want to see this match happen? I mean, I've never really thought about it until today. But now that it's on my radar, I've been thinking about it. Even though I think it'll be possibly a massacre, Mike Tyson just brutalizing Fedor. Um, I'll tune in. I'll tune in. I'd rather see these legends just remain retired, enjoy the fruits of their labor, their career, their accolades. Two absolute legends. And I want to touch on, um, how would a mixed martial arts fight go? Well, present day right now, of course you got to favor Fedor, especially if he uses grappling throws, kicks. But you know what? That's still Mike Tyson. And even though he probably doesn't know how to check a leg kick, doesn't know how to defend against kicks, can't defend a takedown, wouldn't know how to get up, wouldn't know how to defend against submissions, I still think Mike Tyson can land something early on. That's still freaking Mike Tyson. But I would go with Fedor, make no mistake about it. Now, if we're talking prime versus prime and mixed martial arts, I mean, you got to go like 80-20 Fedor. Look at the Fedor that fought Crow Cop beat him in a kickboxing match. 
if Mike were to land something on the button back then, like in his prime, you're going to the Shadow Realm. But Fedor was a completely different animal himself. And he had a high fight IQ. And there would be like a million ways how to beat Mike Tyson in a mixed martial arts fight. The easiest path, close the distance, get a hold of him, foot sweep, throw, hip toss, whatever the case may be, fight's over. It really would be that. Standing and trading with Mike Tyson, even though you're more skilled and you have more tools on the feet, that's a risk. Because one surge from that guy, one flurry of punches that lands on you, you're done. Anyway, guys, yeah, present day, if these guys have a boxing match, I mean, I got to go with Mike Tyson. The guy's still looking explosive. He's still looking dangerous. He's still looking fast. The skill is still there. I feel like when he boxed against Roy Jones Jr., he took it easy on RJJ. Fedor's hands worked in mixed martial arts based on everything else he could do in the cage or ring. I just don't see Fedor having boxing skill like that. He would get beat up. But guys, let me know in the comment section. Would you like to see Fedor versus Mike Tyson in a boxing match? Does it interest you on any level? And who do you have winning? Thanks for watching this segment, guys. Eager to see your comments and thoughts. Appreciate it. If this is your first time at the channel, you enjoy the content, consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.